Good afternoon, people of God. Uh, I would like to talk with you today about this racism that we are seeing. It's rising up is its ugly head. Um, I, I was wondering, I was fasting and asking God, like, why, why? You know, when you watch those videos about the Chinese people beating up African people, the hatred in the eyes. I could see hatred, but a deep hatred. But you don't know the person that you are beating up. You, it's not like they owe you money and they don't want to pay you or anything like that. And then I could see envy in the eyes. I could see a feeling that says you do not respect the games of the world. You don't keep your place. Stay over there. You don't have the right to travel. You don't have the right to come here. So I, I have been asking myself, like, what's going on? And then the answer came. Uh, the answer came. Uh, we need to go back to the good book. Let's go back. Let's go back to our uh, uh, good Bible. Uh, God created Adam from with dirt. And from him, Eve came. I mean, she was molded. They were both black people. All the patriarchs in the Bible are black men. I believe that Noah was an albino, but his father Lamech and his mom were black people. And uh, because when we, you read in the book of Jubilee, when um, Lamech goes to Methuselah, his father, and says, my son is weird, he's not like us, he seems like he's the child of the angels. So that means that the angels were lighter. They were lighter, they were not black, like uh, Lamech was. And then when we see now, we, I arrived to the conclusion that when, in the sixth chapter, when the sons of God, meaning the angels that were sent, the watchers, decided to take it upon themselves to take wives and to produce babies, they needed an extension of themselves to be adored and worshipped because they wanted to seek the glory from God. To them, they swore among themselves, the book of uh, Enoch names them one by one, what they did and what they each had a, a, an area of uh, expertise and that's what they taught to humankind uh, in exchange for sex and favor so it was a give and take um, so the children that were birthed from that union are called nephilim those that fell that it comes from nephal but i also believe that there is a power here on earth that doesn't want us to connect the dot uh, because when we look at the timeline, I'm not an historian, I'm, I'm an historian buff. I love history. I read a lot, I watch many documentaries, and I learn. I, I, I get bored when I'm not learning, and uh, I need to learn. So what I've learned is that the Neanderthal men came from that union. That's why they look, they are somewhat grotesque. They are not regular, they don't have regular features. Because everywhere that God created, it's his people, they are all brown, they have melanin. So my understanding is that uh, the Neanderthal is a byproduct of, uh, came from the Nephilim with human beings, human women, and the more they coupled themselves, then they became white. I mean, they, they were white, the Neanderthal were, was white, but I'm talking about the features, that they had regular features, humanoid features. Uh, so they removed that grotesque aspect of them, but they kept the pink side of the skin. So I am saying that the Denisovan and the Neanderthal are two stream of DNA that is not nat native to planet Earth. And black people, brown people, everywhere, on every continent, where God created them, are the native of that place. So that, those two streams of DNA that came because of the Nephilim, in history, they called them Neanderthal. They didn't want to call them Nephilim so that we will not connect the dot and go back and say, oh. So that deep hatred that white people have toward black people, that desire to crush. They don't want to coexist. They want you to be beneath them so they can be above you. 
it comes from there. So everywhere that the white people went, we have the movie Whitey Dog, no, uh, uh, Rabbit Poo Fence. Uh, it's, the story is set in Australia in the beginning of the 19th century. And it shows, it's a very good movie. I have the DVD, I highly recommend people to watch it. It shows, because it's based on factual facts, it's not a, a, a fiction. It explains how they watched out and removed the black in the Aborigine population of Australia. And uh, we know that in Tasmania, we don't have any living Tasmanian. They, are, they were all decimated by the British when they went there. Uh, so when we look at that side of the world, where we have Tahiti, the big and small Antilles, um, the Maori, they all have black blood because they were black to begin with. And then the white came and through systematic and methodical rapes, they whited the blood. And then we see that in Asia also, where we have dark Asians, they are the native of the land. And then the white came afterward, but applied the same technique. And that's how you see that there is a, a ranking. The lighter you are, the better off you are. We see that in the Philippines too. Uh, the lighter that you are, the better off you are. And the darker, they expect you to be at the bottom because you are dark. But it's that desire to, we call it surplanter, to step on you and come forward and up, up and keep you down. That's where it came from. So, um, that's where this spirit came from. We need to bring the black people down. We need to step on them. And it's not even said, but it's in the blood because we are in that time, we are coming full circle. So as it was in the time of Noah, things are coming full circle. So sheep are becoming sheep and they are becoming better to look like their creator and goats are becoming more like goats to become like their father. And that's, so feelings will come up. You don't know where it's coming from, but I have an urge to beat you up because you are black. Uh, I have a hurt, urge to hurt you because you don't look like me. Your hair are not straight. Why can't you be like this? Why can't you be like that? But that's where it's coming from. I have many friends uh, that are in mixed relationships. It's not for me. It's not for me, but I respect the right. I mean, people have the right to do what they want. This is a free land. But I, uh, we talk a lot because I learned here in America how to argue with, to argue with you, but without hurting you. So you can have your opinion. I have my opinion, but because we have freedom of speech, you have the right to say what you want, and I have the right to say what I want. I learned that here, uh, so we can disagree and still remain, uh, have a polite relation. Uh, and I like that because that's how you can solve issues. But having said that, when I see uh, white women, uh, Latina women or Asian women married to black men, by being with black people, they become better. They are not as uptight as the other counterpart. I mean, their sisters are. They become better, they are approachable, they, are la they laugh, they are more relaxed. It's like they let their hair down, if I can use that expression. And um, they become better. The, so I'm assuming that it's the transfer of melanin because once you start having sex with someone, your, field, your energy field become one. I can see a husband over there, a wife over there, but I know that you are husband and wife because you resonate the same, you vibrate the same. I don't know, I'm sensitive to energies and to the way people present themselves. I'm sensitive to anointings. So I see that they are better, they are different. It's because we have more of God in us. What we call soul, it comes from God. It's a state of being, it's a state of doing, it's a state of uh, the way we treat other people. We are more human, we are kind. We have compassion. We are decent to the core. I have to make a decision and say, now I'm going to be evil, to be evil to you. Really, I have, I, uh, it's not me. But the thing is, my brothers, Africans, uh, now the time has come to change. We cannot be so good to the point that 
they step on you like a doormat. We cannot be so good to the point that everybody can come and slap you, beat you up, and break your bones with a baseball bat or a golf club because you just happen to be black. I studied a petition and changed that org, and uh, I'm not happy. We need to do something about it. It's not fair. It's not right. Um, hatred is hatred. Racism is racism. For me, to a white person, it's racism. From a black, uh, a, a Chinese to a black, it's racism. Especially if Chinese people are coming so many. I mean, in so many waves on the African continent, we need to deal with that. We need to find a way because. I, as I am, I do not trust Chinese anymore. I look at you with, uh, uh, I'm not happy with what I'm seeing because you want to bring me down. You want to bring me back in that place where my history was dark, where by dark, I mean evil. Not dark because of my complexion. I love my complexion. I'm a black woman and I'm proud of my beauty. I'm proud of my hair. I'm proud of my skin. Uh, God made me. This is what he had in mind when he said, let us create men in our image and likeness. So when he modded Eve, she was a black woman with all that implies. So that means that I'm beautiful. This is the vision of womanhood that God had. And it changes everything. The way I carry myself, the way I talk to people, the way uh, I'm sad, so I'm not dating anymore and I do not date. Uh, I don't have a man in my life. But I'm so secure, I'm so beautiful, I'm so self-centered. And that's what I want to pass on to every black person, uh, especially the younger ones. They need to work differently. They need to carry themselves differently. We are bringing so much to the table of nations. We are bringing so much, uh, you know, and um, I do not accept. I cannot accept. There is no way that I will expect, as, accept this treatment. I mean, I'm going back to French, excuse me. I'm losing my English, but that's what I wanted to share with you. So this racism comes from Genesis 6. We have different bloodlines. We need to investigate that. We have different bloodlines, and that's why it comes from one bloodline was that he is not legal here on earth, but he's here. They are numerous, they are here. But they don't want to live in peace. They want to take over. That's all. That's what happens. This is the explanation that I have. And that's why Africa, when we look at those animals, when we see, for, uh, starting from Katanga, where I'm from, go all the way to Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, Namibia, all those countries, uh, we see the, the, those animals, there's such a thing called residual memory. They were created there. They were created there, they are home. They are home, so they, they migrate, they have a path that they follow, but they are home. And then, that's the, the other explanation of the reason why we have so many minerals on Africa. Grace, the grace, that grace, the blessing, when he first spoke and said, let us make men in our image and likeness, happened there. That's why we have so many riches in the land. The land is blessed. The people are blessed. And we messed up ourselves, but that's a whole other topic for another day. Uh, I already touched on that in, um, I forgot the title of the, the video, but I have. So we are blessed. So let's go back to our maker to receive our updates. Because with his updates come our freedom, with his update comes our deliverance, with his update comes our, we will lift up our chains and we are going to work as we should do. We own the continent. He gave it to us. He gave it to us. So that's what I wanted to share with you. And that's what I have in mind. Thank you very much. God bless you.